Hey everyone, my name is Luis Infante. I'm a creative director at AMP Agency and I specialize in experiential design. Over the last few months, we've been trying really hard to figure out what the landscape of experiential design will be in the next months and years to come. You know, we're living in an unprecedented time of social distancing and um, social isolation. So how does experiential design adapt to fit that kind of world? So with that, I wanted to share with you today three tips on how to safely and successfully design experiences in a post-COVID-19 world. Tip number one, make it valuable. Back in the day, and by back in the day, I mean two months ago, uh, people wanted the bespoke, they wanted unique things, they wanted things I'd never seen before um, to, you know, to go experience and share on their social networks. Now, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Uh, people are wanting to go back to the things that they missed, the things that they would do on a day-to-day -day basis, like going to the movie theaters or going to a restaurant, going to the Sunday market. Those things are not out there for people to do. And that is, uh, that's what they're, they're missing the most right now. So can we do something in the experiential design field that fulfills that? Um, an idea could be, can we do a drive-in movie theater experience where people bring their cars, stay in their cars, but watch a movie as a community experience, you know, that, you know, fulfills the sense of togetherness and neighborhood while still staying safe and socially isolated. So tip number one, make it valuable for them. Tip number two, make it as interactive as possible. Um, you know, part of the things that people are sorely missing and part of what gives that sense of community is interaction. Um, you can have as much content as you want out there, but if there's nothing for people to interact with, it's just not the same. So are there ways to make experiences safe yet interactive for people? An idea for that could be as sports start to ramp up and there's talk of like, teams playing at empty stadiums without crowds. Is there a way that we could do uh, in-car tailgates where people can come to the parking lot and interact, honk their horns, clap, cheer, be on kiss cam, all that stuff, and create that sense of togetherness and community uh, for our audience. And tip number three, make it about them, not about the brand. This is, you know, kind of obvious, but again, back in the day, brands could get away with doing something flashy and uh, bold and that would get them the press and the buzz that they were looking for. Uh, not the case nowadays. Nowadays brands are being scrutinized by how they're handling messaging during this uh, COVID-19 times and um, you know how in tune or how tone deaf they are. So by brands making experiences about their audiences, about consumers who need them, um, they really build a lot of brand loyalty and goodwill um, that will make uh, make audiences remember them once this is all in the past. So again, the tips are make it valuable, make it as interactive as possible, and make it about them. Um, we'll continue to work on this and see what the shape of the experiential design landscape is out there in the next few months, but wanted to share with you uh, a little bit of what we're doing. You know, we have AMP love creating moments where brands and audiences uh, can really connect in a meaningful way. And we'll continue to do this uh, and find uh, creative and unique ways to do this as, uh, as the landscape out there keeps changing. Uh, hope you're staying safe and thank you for listening.